What's up, blackheads? Check it out. This is what we're going to be doing in today's video. Y'all know what that's from, the FXDR. So we're going to be taking that thing off of it, and then we're putting on a new air cleaner. Before we get too far into it, though, this episode is brought to you guys in part by Get Lowered Cycles. You guys be sure to go check them out. They've been a longtime partner of the channel. They've got anything and everything that you could need for cruisers, all sorts of gear. I'll drop their link down in the description below, but as always, big shout out to Get Lowered for uh, working with me. Let's get to installing a new air cleaner on the FXDR. Sticking with the same one that I did last time around, the Roland Sands Black Ops Turbine. So this is gonna be the first mod of many on my new FXDR. There's a couple of them that I'm focusing on right off the bat, air cleaner being one of them. We're gonna basically do a stage one to it. So that's air cleaner. We're gonna throw a tuner on it, which is gonna be a Vance and Heinz FP3, just something simple. And then we're gonna take off this big old exhaust, uh, actually working with Bassani on an exhaust. So that will be a future video coming up. Bunch of other plans for it. Project do away with orange. So I'm gonna take all the orange off the bike because I'm not a fan of orange. So the plug wires, I've got black ones as a replacement. Doing away with this, doing away with the orange there. Gonna have to get the, the uh, tank custom painted. And then on the wheels, we'll have the wheels custom painted. So it's gonna be a, uh, a labor of love, but we'll get there little by little. Anyways, first up though, we're gonna be installing the Roland Sands air cleaner. I'm gonna get started on removing this one. I'm assuming it's just taking these bolts off to take the cover, then the air cleaner removes and then the part that attaches to the throttle body. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So I've got a T27 Torx bit socket because these are Torx. So we're gonna loosen all these up. Dang, really? That's it? <laughs> that is just a huge cover. That's funny. All right, so we can probably leave that all together and just remove those three bolts there. They're the same size. Yep. All right, so that pretty much disconnects all of it, except there's one more bolt uh, that's holding it on, which is the breather bolt right here. So you've got this breather tube, all right, the line going back into the intake, which basically any blow by from the engine goes into there, goes back into the intake, right into the throttle body. It's not the best way, but they have to do that for um, like emission standards and stuff. So what you need here is a deep socket. Socket is seven sixteenths there we go air cleaner off there is a lot of uh looks like some kind of loctite on that all right so it looks like this thing has like a special bracket on the outside of the throttle body i have to remove this breather bolt all right there we have a clean throttle body all right, now we're to the point that we've got, you know, everything off. It's nice and clean. I don't know if we'll have to remove this bracket as of yet. We may, we may not. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Roland Sands air cleaner and uh, we're gonna start assembling it and see how it fits on the throttle body here. So let's go ahead and start opening this uh, lovely piece of kit up, shall we? All right, so we've got this thing unpackaged. This is what it looks like. Got a couple spacers, these are for your breathers. It requires a 3 16 inch hex. So within this, you've got instructions, you've got the actual filter, and then in the back here, you've got a bunch of hardware and stuff. So we gotta dismantle this thing from being assembled to get all that out of there. So once dismantled, let's check out what we got here. We've got the breather bolts. We have the breather tubes, which basically fit over the ends of the breather bolts like that. They will set underneath this backing plate so you have a plate right here that comes off. So you've got the bolts go through there and then the breather tubes is set in that. Everything is uh, engineered to be a very precise fit. Roland Sands does a really good job with that. Looks like you have an extra little spacer for the throttle body and then you've got the bolts that basically will hold this on to the throttle body. You do have instructions, so I'm gonna take a look at those just to make sure we're doing everything correctly and then get to installing it. It does have torque specs here. It says torque the uh, quarter 20 bolts to eight foot pounds and the breather bolts to 15 foot pounds and to use a uh, medium strength thread locking compound, which I do have, blue Loctite. There's a diagram, let's get to it. On the throttle body here, you've got a little notch right there. Here you've got those same little 
notches there. So you're gonna line all those up and you're gonna put the backing plate here, kind of loosely thread everything in. All right, so taking you guys step by step, this is, everything is just loose right now. So here we've got the gasket and then we have the spacer and then we have the backing plate. We've got the three bolts holding it into the throttle body. Everything's just loose right now because we do need to remove them one by one, put some Loctite on them. Then we have the spacers here on each side of the breather bolts. And then the breather bolts are just very loosely threaded in. That's basically how you're gonna have it set up. So after you tighten everything down, Loctite it, don't Loctite these. You're only Loctiting these, torque them to spec. Then you're gonna take the, uh, the tubing for like the blow by and that one's gonna go on the right says right this one will go here on the left like that they run through the channels here so on each side run through the channels and then after you've got those on you're gonna put this little extra piece back on now this will basically be held on by the filter we'll get there in a second I'm gonna tighten all this stuff down lock tight it torque to spec and we'll go from there all right so we got these tightened down with Loctite tightening down the breather bolts right now which these are a 9 16th hex edge around the edge. And we've got that tightened up. We're gonna go ahead and add the tubing, which goes on the right, put it in the channel there. Bam, that fits in there. Make sure it's flush like that. See? Same with the left side. Make sure it sits flush. That's basically gonna catch any blow by from the heads. And unfortunately, put it back into here. Now, later on, I probably will redo this somehow and have it vent externally we'll see i'll get around to it after that put that little extra plate piece in there oh shit don't drop it and then we're gonna put the filter and stuff on that's gonna hold all that in all right so what i do here is take these little pieces we're gonna thread one on lightly just so it holds it up and then we're gonna remove each of these put a little spacer in and slowly work our way around don't tighten anything down because you're gonna need Loctite. You can actually go ahead and probably do some little drips of Loctite on each of these. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and start tightening it down. Cut everything in. Put your filter however you want it. I mean, usually I do it with that little silver piece facing back. Man, eh, just personal preference. Man, that thing barely clears though. It's crazy. Stock exhaust anyways. All right, there you go, guys. You have now installed your new air cleaner on your soft tail. It's gonna be pretty similar for a lot of the soft tails. Removing the air cleaner on this one is pretty specific to the FXDR, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty similar installation process for most of the newer soft tails. So just be sure to order the right part. I will post up links in the description down below if you guys need them. I like the way it makes it look. Definitely gets rid of that big old piece here. We'll see if it sticks. Do need to wipe it down, got some Loctite kind of seeping, but Loctite all the bolts here, snug them down, you're good to go. After that, take her for a ride. Anyways, that is how to install a uh, air cleaner. Specifically, this one is the Roland Sands Turbine. Like I said, I will drop links down in the description below. If you guys have any questions, be sure to post them up down in the comments. Also, just to let you know, I'm not a certified mechanic. I'm just a guy that likes working on his bikes, you know? in the garage. Gonna be working on this bike and actually giving it away. If you guys wanna join in on that, join Patreon at patreon.com slash blockheadmoto. That's what we're calling the Blockhead Bike Build Season Two. Giving away this Harley Iron 883. Link down below as well. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon so it sends you notifications for future uploads and activity. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.